140 million miles from Earth, 162 days in space. I've traveled so far, and yet the further I move forward, the more I seem to be looking back. Exactly 10 minutes to final marker. Gil, I ask Sam is clear for comms link. Houston, marking now. Copy that, Houston. Good morning, HIM-1. PLLS data looking good. ECG is normal. We got you, HIM-1. I don't think my grandfather would have liked the sound of that, Houston. Would you care to elaborate on that? That man never trusted things run by computers. Did I ever mention that he was a sailor? Nanne made me learn the stars by sight. Just like he did my mother. He wanted us to trust ourselves to find our way. You see? All that stargazing did pay off. Yes, it did. I'm sure your mother and grandfather would have been very proud of you. M1? Only? Today would have been my mother's 50th birthday. Houston feels that's a good sign. She's... She's always with me. I was only eight years old when Mama left me. I still remember playing on the lagoon that morning. I love the water. And where do we family? It's too flu. Nani, Oti, I need you for Bomini. We're never getting home now. Never! And there are sharks everywhere. Sharks? Man eaters. I couldn't run fast enough to my grandfather's house. I knew she would wait for me. Her last breath has stayed with me ever since. Cholera took my mother's life. And later that same year, my best friend, Obi. So many people died from the water crisis in my country. The thought of not having clean water seems so... archaic. Gil, there's some concern about her biofeedback. Medicals noticed a change in your readings. Houston, Victoria Crater sediment sample is marked. M1, how are you feeling? A bit anxious, but I think that's to be expected. Understandable. Now let's slow that breathing down a bit. We need to get you back to the habitat. Talking helps. These tracks get kind of lonely. Copy that. Hey, Gil. Engineering wants to hear about our mother. Mission Control would like to hear more about your mother. She always told the best stories. Did I ever tell you the one about Nanim's magic pearl? Your grandfather never would let me take this necklace off. Ever? Well, until I need to pass its magic on to someone else. It has else. magic? When your grandfather was digging for sand in the lagoon, it happened. What? Like now. The city was growing bigger every day. 
He helped supply the sand needed to make the concrete. Where's the magic pot? It's coming. He took his afternoon break at the same time each day. But this day was special. When he came down the boat ladder, your grandfather found an oyster shell on the dock. When he finally pried it open, he found this pearl. He said it didn't mean much to him at the time, but what your grandfather did not know was at the exact moment when he opened that oyster shell, I was born. My father said when he first saw me, I was the most beautiful thing he had ever seen. For a long time, your grandmother and grandfather never thought they would have any children. But the pearl came to him as a sign from the heavens, a sign that his life was about to change. You see, Awunli, I was his pearl. He gave me this to wear every day to remind me just how much I was love. What's it do, Mama? Mm -hmm. The pearl gives you what you want the most. What did you want the most? You. What I wanted most was to see her again. I would spend every night looking up at the stars for her imagining that she was that small, flickering red light I would sometimes see. Mama would tell me, tomorrow changes everything. Tomorrow is full of possibilities. And that's why we do what we do, Him one Copy that, ISSM. Let's hope today proves that. Looking good, Gil. Medical shows a lower heart rate. Vital's good. Feeling better? I told you. Talking helps. Houston always enjoys a good story. Tell us more. A few years after my mother's death, Water Aid and UNICEF delivered modern filtration systems to Nigeria. The clean water changed everyone's lives. I would eventually learn the bioregenerative filtration technology used in those systems was developed by NASA. That's right. The same process used on the International Space Station. It literally came from the heavens. I bet that took some explaining to your grandfather. Actually, a few years later, my grandfather arranged for me to study abroad and live with his sister in Houston. After the end of the water crisis in Africa, NASA fascinated me. From Gemini and Apollo to the Orion missions, so many people have come together as one to improve life on Earth to push the boundaries of mankind in the universe. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. and started working with atmospheric scientists, I never imagined that one day I would be a part of that legacy. A legacy that would eventually lead me here, to that small flickering red light. Even out here so far from Earth, I still carry a piece of home with me. Everything that's happened in my life has led to this moment. To my... Pearl.
Tomorrow changes everything. Tomorrow is full of possibilities. I love you, Mama. All right, Rick, thanks for all that data. Well, we copy all, and we'll get back with you on uh, what we're going to do with that. Houston copies. Thanks very much.